Cubbies, today we're going to remember what we've learned for the past few weeks about our Savior, the Lord Jesus. I'm going to need your help, so let's get started. Here is our first picture. Who is this man wearing the camel hair clothes? Yeah, correct. It was John the Baptist. What was he doing? Very good. He was telling the people to stop sinning and obey God. Then he was baptizing them with water in the Jordan River. Okay, what was happening here? Very good, Cubbies. Jesus was bapti John was baptizing Jesus in the water even though he had never sinned. Then the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove, and God spoke, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Okay, what about this picture? Nice job, cubbies. Jesus told Peter to go out and throw his nets into deep water, even though he and the other fishermen had caught no fish the night before. He obeyed and caught so many fish that he needed his friends to help him. Then Jesus called his 12 disciples to be fishers of men. Okay, and the next one, what's going on in this picture? That's right, cubbies. Jesus and his disciples were out in the boat, and a big storm came. Jesus was asleep, and they woke him up, saying, Don't you care if we drowned? Okay, and lastly, this picture. Yes, very good, cubbies. You have all been such great listeners. Jesus just spoke to the wind and the, and the wind and away oh the waves obeyed him the sea became calm because Jesus is God's son and he is God now Jesus did all these things so that the people would know that he was the son of God the savior God sent the savior cubbies Let's say that together. God sent the Savior. Very good. Let's say it again together. God sent the Savior. All along, Jesus knew why he came, cubbies. Do you know why Jesus came? Right, very good answers. Yes, he came to save us from our sins. He knew he would have to die on the cross to save us from our sins. Cubbies, it hurt Jesus very much to die on the cross, but he did it because he loved us. The punishment for sin is death, and we should have been punished for our sin. Jesus was punished instead of us, even though he had never sinned, not even once. Jesus didn't stay dead. On the third day, he came alive again. Because he is alive, we can live forever with him. After Jesus came alive again, he went back to heaven to be with his Father God. His helpers, the disciples, probably missed seeing him every day. It's sad we can't see Jesus every day now, even though we know his spirit is with us. But cubbies, will we ever be with him again? Be yes. One day, Jesus will come down from heaven on the clouds and he, he will take his followers to be with him forever in heaven. Many of us are followers of Jesus. How do we become a follower of Jesus? Yes, we become a follower of Jesus when we trust Jesus as our savior. 
and grow to know, love, and obey him more and more every day. We also tell others about him. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for sending your son Jesus to be our Savior. I pray that we will all love you and follow you more and more each day and to tell others about your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us again today at Cubbies. Bye for now.